What up, guys? This is Chivo Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete the Untitled Goose game. Now, when you finish the to-do list on the fourth area, it's kind of confusing because you don't necessarily complete the game at that point. It's because what you have to do is you have to go to the back of the pub, and you need to go out of this back gate. Then you need to float down this little river right here, and it's going to take you to the model village. So what we have to do is head to the back of the model village. Just follow the path. You're going to realize that this model town village is an actual model of the game that we've been playing. We need to make our way to the back of the village where there's going to be a castle with a golden bell at the top. In this area, you're going to have to duck under both of those arches. And then you're finally going to find this little castle right here. So what we're going to have to do is interact with it. You're going to have to peck it a couple times in two different areas until the wall breaks. At that point, we'll be able to grab this little golden handle at which we're going to pull on it until we break the castle. We're going to have to pull on this for a while. So you want to hold the opposite direction. And I don't know if it helped, but I started flapping my wings and it appeared that that helped pull the castle a little bit faster. So try to spread your wings back and forth. For a little bit extra pressure eventually it's going to break and then you're going to be able to grab the golden bell off of the floor now we need to take the golden bell all the way back to the beginning of the game now when you walk with it it doesn't make any noise however if we run with it it is going to make noise while we're running now what this is going to do is it's going to attract the attention of all of the humans in the game now we need to walk it back to the beginning of the game however all of the shortcuts that we've unlocked are going to be closed so we need to take it all the way back through all four areas without losing the bell. Now pretty much all of the humans are going to be trying to take this bell from us, even the humans that weren't giving us issues previously in the game. Head out of the model village and we're going to go back to the pub, and then we're going to need to exit the pub and then go back to the third area. So you could try to run, however all of the humans run just a little bit faster than you. So they'll eventually catch you and you'll drop your bell, and then you're going to have to steal it back from them. Luckily, once they grab the bell, it's not totally over. We can always get the bell back by just grabbing it out of their hand and running. So you're basically going to be doing this over and over again. All the humans are going to be chasing you. You're going to be dropping the bell, picking it back up, and then proceeding. So once we get out of the pub area, we are going to notice that a lot of these gates are locked. So there's really only one way that the game lets us go now. So we're going to have to go to the third area which is going to be on the upper right hand side. However, the path that we're going to be using to get through this area is a bit different because some gates have opened and some gates have closed. What we need to do is pull this drawer out so that it collapses and then eventually we could take the bell back and then climb over into the neighbor's yard. We're not going to be able to get through this side gate like we pushed through before. So we're going to have to dodge this old man once again. This time the gate at the bottom of his yard is going to be open. Now we have made it through the high garden area, and now we are going to go to the high street. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I speeded this up times two in effort to make this video a little bit faster and to the point. We just need to make our way through this little market uh, without losing our bell. Unfortunately, the lady got my bell and she put it up for sale. Even if this happens, you can go into her little yard cell and jack it straight off of the shelf. After we make our way through this little yard cell area, we're going to go ahead and head back. The boy is going to try to chase you down too, however you can just make some noise to scare him away. He's not too much of a threat. Now we're back to the garden which was the first area that we completed in the game. The only person we have to dodge right here is going to be the groundskeeper. He's probably going to make you drop the bell at least once. He puts it right on the side of his pants. You're going to have to take it if he takes it from you. Other than that we're going to head back into the water and we literally need to take it to the very beginning of the game which is going to be at the very bottom of the garden here. So you're just going to follow this path, it's going to take you past this bicycle, under the log, literally to the very beginning of the game. Now what you're going to notice is that there's a pit full of bells. You're going to drop the bell and then that's going to complete the game and that's going to unlock the thank you for playing our video game achievement for 80 gamer score. The end credits are also going to roll. I also want to note that even after you do this, you still can continue the game if you've had any missed achievements or missed speedruns. Other than that guys, as always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If this video helped you out, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.